always be part of the, path, the fabric of this great country and democracy. On behalf of the city of Bristol, thank you very, very, very much for all your service during the war and since then to the community, state, and nation. Welcome home. Robert Fitz. George Ledger. I truly will. I was watching early this morning on television in Honolulu. They were having the ceremonies going on. And they're going on throughout this country. First thing I did this morning at 6 o'clock, I ran out in front of my house and lowered the flag to half mass. Before somebody called me up and said, flag is supposed to be at half mass. So I made sure I beat him to the punch. But I say that sincerely. And it, you know, it, it, I, I think back and I say, you know, my dad was there. My father served in the Pacific during World War II. And I can remember just before he left, uh, he was in San Francisco and he called my mom on the phone and I can remember him telling her how much he loved her. I remember my mother crying and I thought, what, what is all of this? Because at three and four years old, you don't know what that really is. You don't have the comprehension of that. But I do remember this. I remember the door, and I mentioned this before at another time. I remember the door busting open in 1945. And I remember my Aunt Jo Therian come flying through the door and screaming, my Bobby's dead, my Bobby's dead. Bob Therian, he lived here on Seymour Street. He was in the Air Force. He died on his 18th or 19th birthday. And I remember that. I remember how, how she was, you know, so upset. And, and I remember my mother hugging her and all of that stuff.